Let's get to our next game, Ryan, and this is going to be an interesting one, and that is Penn State at Auburn. Mm -hmm. And this is another one where I kind of went against the grain with everybody, and it's not so much that I have any faith in Auburn because I really don't have a lot of faith in (laughs) Auburn right now. It's just that, number one, Auburn can't be – that bad <laughs> it's like i don't think so of that. You don't think so <laughs> i think they have players i think they have some players like they're not they're not a team devoid of talent right mm-hmm. and it's just it was such a weird two games and it just kind of reminds me a lot of what we saw from notre dame in 2018 they're not as good as notre dame in 2018 but it's sure. kind of like when they kind of slept walk through the ball state game and the vanderbilt game and then kind of they finally figured it out i think I think the 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 two wins they had, although they were ugly, they needed them because it has been such a tumultuous offseason. Like they just needed to get some confidence rolling. And I, I look at I think they can slow down the Penn State run attack. I do not think Penn State runs the ball right now. They ran the ball well last week against Ohio. Ohio's not good. Nice. They could not run on Purdue, right? I mean, they could not run on Purdue. The, Purdue gave them that game. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, Jeff Brom cost his team that football game. And I'm, I'm as big of a Jeff Brom supporter as there is. He did a terrible job in the last five minutes of that game. Mm-hmm. They should be one and one right now with a loss to Purdue. I don't think Auburn's that good. I just don't think Penn State's that good right now. And, and you know, s- the quarterback situation is a little bit of a, a tricky thing, you know, because you got all these people calling for, for Drew Aller, even though Sean Clifford's the winner. And I just mm-hmm. – I look at this, and I, and I don't know if Penn State – I just haven't liked what I've seen from – I don't even know if I can put my finger on it, Ryan. I just – and I'm someone who predicted Penn State to be a bounce-back team this year, but mm-hmm. I just haven't liked the body language I've seen from that team. I think they – you know, I'd like – you know, maybe that the way they came back against Purdue is going to spark them, but I didn't love what I saw against Ohio. They're just better than Ohio. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't love yes. it. But then, you know, Auburn beat San Jose State 24-16. to 16. So, I haven't really been impressed with either one of these football teams so far. Yeah. And, and, you know, if, if they had anybody but TJ Finley at quarterback, I'd easily, I'd feel really good about picking Auburn. But my mm-hmm. but thing I said in my prediction is he can't be this bad, right? Like, I mean, like he was so bad in the first two games. He can't be that bad. He's due for some kind of decent game, right? That's what I've convinced myself of, Ryan. And that's, All right. that was the reasoning behind me picking him. But it's in, in, in seriousness though, I picked Auburn 24-20. I think Penn State will have some kind of mistake, some kind of turnover, some kind of kick mistake, something like that that's going to allow uh, allow Auburn to win this game. I just and it really comes down to I just I'm, I'm not I'm I just haven't liked what I've seen from Penn State up front in either game so far, and that's that's not where you want to not be good against Auburn, in my opinion. So I'm going to start with Penn State because I did pick Penn State to win this football mm-hmm. game. I'll end with my prediction. The okay. the things I like about Penn State. Nicholas Singleton, I think, is going to be a stud. To your oh, point, yeah. didn't run the ball great against in the first game against Purdue, but I'm going to assume that there's going to be a trajectory. Not because here. of him. Yes. It's not because of him. <laughs> well, and, but Brian, I think that there are a couple of decent pieces up front for the offensive line. There's for several State. good pieces. They just I, can't I, put it together. I, I know they can't. I know they can't. But I'm I'm going to. I I think that it's going to get better as the season goes on. I think mm-hmm. Fashanu at left tackle is a really good player. I think that Landon Tangwell is a good football player inside as well. So I think Penn State's offensive line is going to improve, as do I do the freshman Nick Singleton. I think Parker Washington is a good football player. And Penn State's always going to have talent on defense. Like They're always going to have some guys, right? So this year it's Joey Porter Jr. and number 23. I forget his name. The, the linebacker is a decent mm-hmm. little football player. So Adisa Isaac is a decent pass rusher yep. as well on that team. So that's kind of what they're working with this year from a structural perspective. The reason I picked Penn State, though, is not as much about Penn State as it is about Auburn. I right. just don't see it with Auburn, yeah. man. I just don't. I mean, yeah, there's a couple good football players. Tank sure. Biz- Bigsby is a good running back, no doubt. The defensive end, Derek Hall, is a good football player, no doubt. Mm-hmm. But offensive line, I think, is pretty not great. Mm-hmm. TJ Finley, I know, is pretty not great. So he's I just, so I, I just, he's, so I, he's, he's really he's bad, so man. Bad. He's really bad. And I think that that team is just. I think they're a, a, oh. an implosion away from just a new coaching staff and just yeah. a new just a new culture there, right? Like I just I think they're in a really bad situation. So yeah. again, I'm not a big not a big James Franklin guy. Yeah, definitely not a big Sean Clifford guy. But I'm just I'm just don't yeah. believe in anything that uh, that Auburn is doing right now. So I had Penn State 27-17 over Auburn because Auburn will still yeah. Penn State's not going to blow them out. 
because Auburn still does have some talent to your point. Sure. I just, I right. just can't believe in Auburn at all. Yeah. I just can't do it. I get it, dude. Trust me. I get it. I, I completely understand it. I just, mm-hmm. I just did. I, I just, and, and I don't like what Manny Diaz is doing defensively. No, I don't. I don't. I, I, I agree there. I agree there. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, this was one of the, t- this was the toughest game to predict this weekend, to be completely honest with you, just because like you said, it's like, which team not playing great. Do I want to pick? I will say this. Mm-hmm. The winner of this game is going to have a boost in my opinion, because I, I think Auburn's talent is a little better than you think than I think maybe. And again, I'm reading into your comments, so I, I could be incorrect. Yeah. I think their talents a little better than you think it is. This isn't a vintage Auburn team that just has poor coaching. This mm-hmm. is the team that hasn't recruited well under Brian Harson so far, but they're not a team devoid of athletes. They have some athletes. When you look at their schedule, they are two and zero. They they have Missouri at home the next week, LSU at home the next week. Then their schedule ramps up a little bit. I think that this is the kind of win that Auburn needs to kind of get some confidence and some momentum to be able to put together a good season. If they lose at home to Penn State, that will begin the implosion, and Brian Harson will not be the coach by the by game twelve. That's my prediction. Well, good news for them is that they have Missouri next week, who is terrible. Yes, so they, they can always terrible. have a bounce. But if back. they lose this game, I could see them like just <laughs> going, going in the off, toilet. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then the yeah. opposite is true. If Penn State goes on the road and wins this game, <laughs> then I feel the same thing about what I just said about Auburn. I think that that is the thing that kind of gives Penn State the momentum that they need to go out and say, okay, we got this W. You've got Central Michigan coming up next. You've got Northwestern coming up after that. All of a sudden, Penn State jumps way up in the rankings, and they've got some momentum. They've got some confidence. The Because off- I think if they win this game, it most likely means the offensive line does start to come together. I believe mm-hmm. Salim Morley is still a starting right guard as well, correct? I believe he's he, still starting he right maybe. guard. Maybe. I know I know they he's moved uh, like come out of high school. They moved Juice Suggs or Scruggs or whatever to center. Yeah. And I uh, yeah. the Caden Wallace kid at right tackle is bad. He's a bad football player. Yeah. But, he was a pretty highly ranked kid coming out of high school. But yes. But I just if they win this game, it means that unit starts to come together. And if that unit starts to come together, that's what Penn State needs to bounce back. Mm-hmm. And so I think they start going. The, the concern I have with them too, Ryan, is I don't they have some players on defense, but they don't have the players they've had top to bottom. Like, you know, the kid you talked about on the edge player, he's a nice player, but like mm-hmm. they've had guys like Jason Owe. And I mean, they've had some dudes on the edge in recent years and haven't really u- utilized them. You know, they completely underutilized Brandon Smith, partly because Brandon Smith didn't want to hit anybody. Right. But, you know, the, the, I don't see the talent there. Curtis Brooks is the kid you were referring to. The other Curtis one. Brooks, yeah, he's a good yep. player. He can run, you know, he can run. right? And but they lost their mic from last year, who I thought was a, a good leader for them, Ellis Brooks. Mm-hmm. I just don't see the top to bottom talent that they've had in past years. And Joey Porter's excellent, but like they would have him plus three other future NFL players in the secondary, right? And combine that with Manny Diaz. So like your lack of faith in TJ Finley is very is exactly where I am with my lack of faith in, or your lack of faith in Bo Nix. Is exactly where I am from a coaching standpoint with Manny Diaz. Uh, I, I don't have I don't right. have any confidence in TJ Finley either. So your point right. stands either right. way. <laughs> so uh, he's so bad. He's At least really bad. Bo Nix, it's frustrating because you like you see him, he has some talent and he can have yes. some good games. TJ Finley just isn't talented, in my opinion. And I, I've never understood the infatuation with him. Like yes, he, 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 it, one, one touchdown, three strong. interceptions so far. Yeah. Like just it's yeah, not good. It's not it's not against great. Against a mighty competition of San Jose State and Mercer. But here's one thing I will say, and this is going to sound silly. Part of the reason is, too, is I've really been impressed with Auburn's run defense so far. People are like, oh, they shut down Mercer. Mercer ran for almost 400 yards the week before. Mercer's mm-hmm. a decent 1AA football team. Like, we make fun of them because, like, Alabama plays them all the time. <laughs> yep. But, like, they, they're a really good running football team. Right. And and they held them to 74 yards. They completely shut down San Jose State's and like San Jose State. Yeah, but they did what you're supposed to do to a team that you're way better than. They shut I, it I down. Do, I do you know? like the I do like the linebacker for Auburn, o, yeah. Owen Popo or whatever you however yeah. you pronounce his name. Mm-hmm. He's a good football. He's a big player. time recruit coming out of high school. He's played well, man. He he got yeah. injured last year, but he's he's put some mm-hmm. good film on there. So I just I just think they have better players than maybe some people think. And I think mm-hmm. they're going to win this game. But this is this is going to be a very this is one of the most impact games of the weekend, meaning how this game impacts is going to send potentially potent, send each team on a completely different direction than they otherwise would have gone in. So that, that'll make this one very fascinating. 